Hello, my name is Terry Daniels, and I'm about to read The Feet in the Gym. I wrote the words, and Travis Foster illustrated the pictures. At Lakeside School, I work each day to wipe each dab of dirt away. I search for bits of grit and grime, specks of mud and drops of slime. I wash the walls and scrape the floors, shine the knobs and scrub the doors, dust the light bulbs when they're dim, but most of all, I mop the gym. The children call me Handy Bob. My hands can handle any job. By far the jo hardest job I do is wiping after every shoe. Western boot or wooden clog, Sneaker from a morning jog, slipper, sandal, soccer cleat, all the shoes on all the feet. Without delay, I plop my mop into my pail filled to the top. I swab the gym with suds galore to lift the footprints off the floor. Every day I try to beat the mass of moving, messing feet. Before the floor begins to dry, the kindergartners shuffle by. Someone's looking in the window. Holding hands, they walk in twos. I bend down low to count their shoes. Even though their feet are small, they leave their footprints one and all. I don't like dirty footprint spots. It's time to peel those polka dots. I mop the floor. I'll mop once more until I spy a spotless floor. Somebody else is coming in the window. I finish rinsing half the gym when first grade brownies amble in. Today's the Girl Scout cookie sale. They leave behind a crummy trail. What a sight, these sticky bits. If they stay put, I'll lose my wits. I swing my mop and swab with pride, then fling some gummy crumbs aside. Those cookies do look good. I clear a path that's clean and bright. Then all at once I freeze with fright. This cannot be. It's just a dream. Is this the third grade soccer team? The lakeside zappers swiftly pass and leave a field of tattered grass. Soccer cleats, the mess they make. Where's the gardener? Where's the rake? I douse my mop and start to push the icky, sticky, grassy mush. Tiptoe tap into the goop goes Mrs. Milton's dancing troupe. Ballet slippers dip and poke to dance upon the planks of oak. They pierce the mushy mess with ease. Now my floor looks like Swiss cheese. Art class follows in a rush. Paint drips from each painter's brush. Drops of red and blue and green blend into a rainbow scene. Second graders slide that bow, arm in arm and toe to toe. Swirling, curling, skating mates sketch a set of figure eights. Rainbow stains are tough to clear. I scrub eight times, then faintly hear a gentle beat upon a drum, a folk guitar, a banjo strum, a flute, a gong, a saxophone, a trumpet and a slide trombone, a bump, a thump, a pounding sound, banging, clanging all around. When all the noise gets louder still, the jumping gym begins to fill 100 feet, 100 hands, 
to romping, stomping lakeside bands. They sweep the floor and whisk the goo, a bit sticks onto every shoe. Then to the football field they go, this crowd pleasing, cheese squeezing, grass raking, mush taking, crumb kicking, dot sticking, merry making music show. Joy of joys, my lucky day. The children march the mess away. No need to mop the gym at all. The floor is clean from wall to wall. But wait, I do see one small spot, one purple painted polka dot. It glimps, glints and shimmers like a jewel upon the gym at Lakeside School. Round and round the room I glide. My handy hands reach far and wide. I blot that dot and scrub that floor. I need not mop a minute more. Yes, children call me Handy Bob. My hands can handle any job. By far the hardest job I do is wiping after every shoe. Uh oh, what did Handy Bob do? That's right, he walked out of the gym and left his own footprint. Bye, Norman J. Levy Lakeside School. That's the school my boys went to when they were growing up. I hope you enjoyed my reading of The Feet in the Gym. See you next time. Bye-bye.